Breaking news just came out. Fans were taken by surprise as no one saw this information coming, shaking up the backstage. To not miss any details, it's crucial that you're already subscribed to the channel to stay updated with all the latest news. Now, let's get to the news. The loss to the Philadelphia Eagles left us all searching for answers. Coach Andy Reid faced the tough task of explaining why our beloved Chiefs passing game has been struggling. And unfortunately, the reasons he cited were all too familiar, miscommunication between Patrick Mahomes and his receivers and an alarming number of dropped passes. Reid acknowledged that these issues have been self-inflicted and vowed to address them. But here's the harsh reality, Chiefs fans, we're already 10 games into the season, and the numbers don't lie. The Chiefs lead the league in dropped passes with a staggering 26, six more than any other team. And Mahomes, our star quarterback, is on track for the worst statistical season of his career with nine interceptions. Some may argue that the Chiefs made the right choices during the offseason by focusing on strengthening our defense rather than signing veteran wide receivers like Odell Beckham Jr., DeAndre Hopkins, or Juju Smith-Schuster. And indeed, our defensive players, Charles Omenihu, Drew Tranquil, and Mike Edwards, have been performing admirably, helping us become one of the top defensive teams in the NFL. But the question remains, why haven't our wide receivers stepped up? Despite the Chiefs' belief in their big three, Kadarius Tony, Marquez Valdez Scanling, and Sky Moore, they've collectively fallen short. These three players have combined for just 53 catches, 493 yards, and three touchdowns. Surprisingly, it's our rookie Rassi Rice and Justin Watson who are leading the way in receptions, yards, and touchdowns. Rice has shown promise, but we can't rely solely on a rookie to carry the load. So, Chiefs Kingdom, what's the solution? Can our wide receivers turn this season around and provide the support Mahomes desperately needs? Or will our hopes lie in further developments from Rice and Watson? We want to hear from you, Chiefs fans. What are your thoughts on this issue? Do you think the Chiefs should have prioritized wide receivers in the offseason, or are you satisfied with our defensive investments? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this segment, and make sure to subscribe to our channel for more updates on Chiefs, stay hopeful and keep supporting our team. Go Chiefs!